Oh, well, I, I'm not sick of this yet. I'm um, sorry, folks at home, if you are, but fans no, storming the SCG on Friday night as Buddy Franklin booted his 1,000th goal. Here it was in all its glory. The legend becomes immortal. How good. Oof. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Old school scenes. Look at that. The crush. What COVID? <laughs> We've forgotten about that. We are living the dream. Rushing the SCG and Sydney Swans coach John Light Longmire joins us now. What a moment. What an achievement. What was it like, John? <laughs> Oh, it was amazing morning, Layla and Carl. It was uh, just incredible. I mean, to have be only the sixth player that's ever done that in the game's history and um, to be a part of it here, we, we thought it would be a big deal. We had no idea, well, I certainly didn't, how big a deal it would be and uh, it was incredible and feel very pr privileged to be a part of it. It was. It, it got big on everyone, didn't it? Um, I think Mick Malthouse was on the radio over the weekend on the ABC saying that it, it was pathetic and he was a bit of a killjoy, Mick Malthouse, about that. I, I guess he raises some good points. Was there an element of you watching on before we get to... You you know, the excitement of it all where, where there was concern? Uh, I was a little bit concerned there for a, for a bit because, uh, um, and it just, uh, it went, as you said, it got big very quickly. And um, I was a bit concerned about the players and the, and if there was any little kids. I got down in the room straight afterwards and um, some of the players said it was mayhem out there and there was a couple of little kids involved and so they were trying to look after them. So once, once I realised that everyone was OK, um, then I had to do a bit of a head count and find our players. But um, it was great that no one was hurt and, and uh, everyone got to enjoy what was just a great occasion. What do you make of Mick Malthouse saying that? Oh, look, oh, you know, I, I can understand you. There was a bit of concern that, um, you know, if something went happen, didn't it would have maybe not taken too much to uh, to go a little bit astray. But, um, you know, we can't live in that space too much. I mean, it would probably never happen again. So uh, let's celebrate it for what it is. Layla mentioned COVID. Uh, we were talking to you in the break, and I don't think you'd, you'd quite got to COVID as a possibility. But when you look at the crowds and all those eastern suburbs types around Buddy, I mean... <laughs> The whole team could go down. <laughs> yeah, the, the one point, the what? Well, the one point five metre isolation rule really didn't stick, did it? But, uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just, um, it was just amazing. I mean, it was uh, the players were buzzing after the game yeah. or, or during the break. We still had six minutes to go, yeah. so we came in afterwards, and uh, you yeah, know, it was amazing. It was we had to go out and finish off the game with six minutes to go, so that was a bit tough. But um, the moments after the game were pretty special in the rooms as well, with all the players, the staff, and. And Lance's family was, um, you know, it was, it was a pretty special moment. He's got a beautiful family uh, and he does so much as well um, behind the scenes. And I think that it's, you know, the, the pictures of him surrounded by all those people, it sets the club up beautifully, doesn't it? I mean, he's really a centrepiece for the club. Why don't you just cut to the chase and sign him for another five? <laughs> oh, we're already two games in, Carl. Uh, he's, he's 35 years of age. He's, he's, uh, he's looking fantastic at the moment. And, um, look, it's great. I just think we just, we just celebrate it for what it is at the moment. He's, he's going great guns. He's looking in, in really good condition. He's enjoying his footy. He's loving being surrounded by the younger players. So he's in a good space at the moment. All right, that's a yes. You've got to think about it. Yes, for sure. The price, <laughs> Sharon, looks like it might be returned to Buddy today. So... Are you going to have to buy that back? Could it be yeah, worth it? Works. Some people are saying $200,000. Yeah, I'm not sure, Lola. I'm not sure. I certainly won't be reaching into my pockets. <laughs> um, maybe Lance has got a bit deeper pockets than I have. But uh, it's, uh, I'm glad it's coming back. I mean, what a, what a great thing for the supporters and, and for the club to have and Lance to have forever. It's, um, you know, it's, a, it's a unique moment in football history. <laughs> That's so cool it's when, a he, great when moment, he caught isn't it? it there. Look, you've got a big season ahead. Um, we, we really appreciate you coming on today. It'd be great to see more of you on this program um, because we do love our AFL as well. Good on you, mate. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. I think I've got Buddy another five. Yeah, definitely. Maybe you should take six. a commish. I'm going to ring him. 10%? <laughs> That's it. No, 20. Hello. <laughs> uh, I nearly choked on it.